Welcome back to another video, guys. Take a look at this sunset. The sun is setting. Uh, we are getting up super early tomorrow. Uh, I get these, these time frame mixed up all the time. So getting up early tomorrow. So we're starting this video off this evening because I am the kind of guy who likes to be prepared for a road trip. Tomorrow we are going to pick up our 10th Dodge truck, number 10. Number 10, so uh, we're getting up early. It's you know, We're actually keeping it kind of close this time. It's actually only three and a half hours away. We usually go to Timbuktu and beyond to pick up these vehicles. So this one's actually pretty close. It's only three hours away in Kentucky. Uh, so that's what we're doing. We're gonna go get fueled up. We're gonna get hooked up to the trailer. I like to be able to wake up in the morning uh, hit the start button, hit the key, and uh, off we go. So that is what we are doing. Uh, and yeah, I swear, I swear, I swear this is going to be the last one for quite a while. I say that, I say that quite frequently. I know you guys are going to call me out on that. But anyway, stay tuned. Let's get this thing fueled up. Let's get hooked up. And uh, you guys are going to like this. I promise. I mean, who doesn't like, who doesn't like more, more vehicles? Man, I, I love them. I mean, I, I built a whole parking lot to keep them back there. So why not fill it up? <laughs> All right, here we are getting that fuel. You already know we got to get that all in one from Amsoil before we fill up. This stuff is important, not gonna lie. I have not been the best person about fuel additive, but this stuff, this stuff from what I hear is the best. So that is what we are going to be putting in if I can open it with one hand. And I'll tell you guys a little bit about it here in two seconds. But what's nice is they give you that long neck so you can actually put it in uh, your truck, your new truck that actually has that stupid check ball. You just gotta, you just gotta go right in. You just gotta, just gotta take the plunge. I'm actually shocked that I did not get that all over my truck. But, all right. I gotta give her the old shake, you know, shake it, shake it more than a couple times, you know what happens. Anyway, so, Amsoil, diesel, all in one. The, the label says it all, really. Cleans your fuel injectors, come on, lubricates, anti-gel, and this is the bigger one, Cetane for more power. We are all set, ready to go for tomorrow. I will catch up with you guys first thing in the morning, bright and early. It is the following morning, finally. Uh, well, only a couple seconds for you guys, but uh, we're on the road and we only have actually about 35 minutes left until we are at our destination. Like I said, it, this uh, this one was this one was pretty close, uh, only uh, only three hours away. So uh, you guys will see exactly what it is. It'll kind of make sense. We'll go over some details. Probably uh, maybe when we get back to the house should be uh, shouldn't be terrible uh, of a trip. It's actually pretty good. So we're actually just on the um, I guess you would call it the eastern side of Kentucky. This whole time change thing, this time change thing is, I'm right over the time change, so every time I go anywhere else, it seems like uh, it changes back to eastern time when we're in central time. So that is, 
That is quite frankly a little annoying. But anyway, I'm pumped, I'm excited. Uh, who doesn't love getting new vehicles? All right, we have made it to the meeting spot at a pilot. I wanna say, I think he lives up there. There's a driveway like right over here. He's like, don't come up here with that trailer. You'll never, you're never gonna get out of there. So I think he's gonna drive it actually down, down here and meet us here. But uh, yeah, we're waiting here. Oh, I see it. I see it coming. There it is. That's red. There she is. That's the only view you get until we get home. We are about to blaze the trail, get our butts back home. Lots of stuff to do. Oh yeah, here we go. All right, we have finally made it home. It actually looks like the wind is picking back up and it looks like it might rain again. So again, for the last uh, a lot of videos, I apologize if there's any wind noise. But before I show you guys the truck, I do wanna to talk to you guys a little bit more about this Amsoil all-in-one diesel additive. Now, uh, biggest thing is I think it is important to run some type of diesel fuel additive in your truck. I think the performance gains far outweigh not using it. Uh, the stuff that comes right out of the pump, while it does have its quote-unquote additive package for winter time, uh, for summertime, it's definitely not the best that it can be. So, uh, what I like about this all-in-one is that uh, it kind of covers pretty much anything. Now, this morning, it was still a little bit colder I'm sure you guys in different climates uh, are still experiencing a little bit of a colder time so there's a lot of in-between weather where your truck fuel can actually still have a little bit of uh, gelling issues uh, maybe not super super cold we're getting kind of out of that but this takes care of that it boosts your cetane uh, and it cleans the biggest thing about a fuel additive is that your fuel system, uh, like whether it be the low pressure lift pump, the CP3, the injectors, uh, it needs to be lubricated. Um, and that just keeps your fuel injection system happy. Um, and that's what this does. So uh, cleans dirty injectors, lubricates pumps and injectors to reduce wear, extends fuel filter life, uh, improves fuel economy 8%. Uh, we've, we're pedal to the metal everywhere, so I don't know if we'll ever see that 8%, but uh, combats fuel system corrosion, uh, and then all of the winter time stuff the wax settling um, maximum horsepower boost cetane up to four points um, and safe for all types of fuel <clears throat> so they do have different versions of these uh, we might switch to a different one they have a, a, a complete injector cleaner 
and they have a winter one as well but this one is cool because it's got you covered it, it takes care of everything all in one shot you don't even have to think about whether or not you need to uh, mix this one or put that one in uh, this one covers it all you guys did not know I do have a code for Amsoil on Amsoil's website if you guys want to use it I will put it down below I would highly recommend adding this to the cart when you go ahead and get all of your oil stuff anyway on to what you guys really want to see and that is the new truck now let's get into it just a little bit here most of you guys probably already kind of figured out that uh, we need some type of chassis for that truck this truck came along Dalton actually messaged me he's like hey I got this thing it's been sitting for quite a while it has a couple little issues a couple little ish you know like charging system uh, problems but running driving complete truck minus a bed that's it this thing is complete minus a bed he literally drove it down to me he drove it around um so this thing is perfect because there's going to be a lot of miscellaneous things that uh, i think we're going to need off of a truck whether it be uh, axles uh, drive shafts stuff like that so this thing is complete now it was a very, very, very good price, but it does have a lot of high miles on it. Again, we are gonna be selling a ton of stuff on this thing. So if you guys see something that you need, doors, anything body related, headlights, uh, bumper, grill, mirrors, uh, body, um, the interior, again, this is a, this is a higher mileage truck, uh, but anyway, give you guys a little bit of a walk around while it's still on the trailer, it's a little easier to see. But I believe the truck is a 2003, 2004. It's got good wheels and tires to roll around on for now. I was actually thinking about selling these, but then I'm like, well, how do I wheel this thing around? It's got a five inch exhaust. I know, got big, big old, big old tip. So we'll sell the exhaust off of it. Uh, we'll probably sell some engine stuff. Um, maybe, maybe the fuel tank, maybe the fuel tank. Maybe the fuel tank. I don't know. Uh, it does have it does have a fast lift pump on it that I'm going to be taking off of it, replacing with an air dog. So I'll sell this complete kit. Uh, it's a little dirty right now, but seems to be working. Seems to be working well. But came from Texas. Needs to be cleaned up, but is perfect. Perfect for what we need, and the price was absolutely perfect as well. So uh, four wheel drive. G56 transmission, again, it's got a 5.9 in it because it's a 03, but um, yeah, overall, really, really solid truck for what we paid for it. So, so the goal is to be able to sell everything that we don't need off of it and break even. That way I can justify it to Allie because that's kind of what I told her. So you guys need to come get some of this stuff. So, uh... Yeah, she hasn't she hasn't killed me yet, guys. Don't worry, I'm I'm still here. So, uh, like even yeah, the factory probably the factory intercooler. We probably won't stay with that, but we'll get a complete list. Let me get this thing off the trailer. Um, I feel like a proper break in is is to see if it does a burnout. So I feel like uh, we just need to need to give her a good old neutral drop and send her. Hopefully both of these back tires spin. But I feel like uh, you know that's the proper that's the proper send off. I'll probably get Allie out here to. Uh, Get the fire extinguisher ready, seeing that uh, that's the that's how we roll here. Good, you're here. 
What'd you think? A little bit better than last time, right? Yeah. Thing is a thing is a genuine ripper. Is it stick? It's of course. Yes, I told you it was stick. It's gotta be stick. All right, babe. So everybody, you you are the topic of everyone's question. Oh my gosh, you don't have any makeup on. What? Everyone wants to know your thoughts. Number ten. This is number ten. We have ten Dodge trucks in the driveway. Everyone thinks that you. <laughs> no, no, no. They no. They want to know about you. Your thoughts on me. See, she, she's all about it. You just have to have a plan. I mean, there's always a plan. There's, a plan. there's always a plan. So it's number 10, but these two are going to get joined together. So really, we're just back down to nine. That makes it so much better, right? There's a plan. <laughs> there's a plan. There's always a plan. All right, so let's get up a little bit more close and personal here. Uh, no filter. That's my that's my style. I didn't take that off. That was actually like that. So uh, fits fits in already. So ch step number one does a burnout. Number two doesn't run an air filter. So I don't know what could be more uh, possibly fitting for us. But uh, this is actually I think if I have to remember, this is actually our only common rail five nine right now. All of our other five nines are twelve or twenty four valves, but not actually common rail. So uh, this is like I said an O three O four truck. Nothing on this truck is perfect at all whatsoever but uh it didn't really get super super warm but i didn't really see anything blow by wise but it's got 360,000 miles on it like i said he was experiencing a little bit of charging issues but it's actually charging right now so i know these things have a little bit of a temperamental ecm deal with them uh, it's got a lamp out light this truck was originally an auto but he had swapped the g56 out of a 2012 i think he said Needs a door bushing, uh, but overall, OEM body panels, body doors, uh, they're not in the best of shape. They're not super rusty by any means. Nothing is uh, nothing is really far gone. The front drive shaft is not in it. He didn't put that in when he did the swap. Obviously, the interior has also 360,000 miles on it, but doesn't look uh, too, too bad. The front seat could obviously, obviously use a uh, seat cushion, but I actually have one of those. It's got one little hole in it right here, but overall, it's got covers on it. I'm sure it could actually be cleaned up. Uh, and a little bit more right there. A little bit of wear there. Interior is uh, less than, less than attractive. That's for sure. Hey, we got a radio. We got some gauges that I don't know if they, if they work. But I mean, come on. It's like this truck was already supposed to be here. So. Um, let me know what you guys need. Come and get it. All of it. All of it right now. Come. Are you on your way? Don't, don't ask me. Door bushing. Don't worry. She's mint. Don't, don't ask me how much. Just come get it and make me an offer. Look at these, look at these, these headlights. So engine wise, what will probably sell out of this thing? I'm going to let the turbo cool down before I actually stick my hand in there and check the play on it. But we'll sell the intercooler, the turbo, the manifold. Um... Yeah, we'll sell, sell a bunch of stuff off of here. Obviously, we need, we're, gonna, we're gonna need to do some type of retrofitting to get all of this in there. Uh, so that's the, that's the challenge. But key components again, four wheel drive G56. Uh, for, you know, the, the wheelbase is perfect. This thing used to have a flatbed on it. But uh, yeah, that's the, that's the general rundown. Again, for the price, we couldn't really beat it. That's why we went and picked it up right away. But what a solid beast. You have a question? Question, question, you have a question? Question, I should buy a boat. What's your question, ma'am? What's your question? No, ask your question on camera, ma'am. Please, ma'am. Oh yeah, turbo. She's mint. Oh yeah, she's mint. She's good. Uh, one other thing underneath here. She's definitely got some leaks on her, but that's okay. We can take care of all this stuff. This is that's 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 the fun part. That's the fun part. So I'm pretty excited. Not gonna lie. I mean, not that I am always not excited, but yes. And don't worry, all that stuff up there on the roof. That's just dirt. It's been sitting. It's not rust. Someone come get this cab right now. Did I say did I say somebody needs to come get the cab?
Yeah, I mean, she's a little, she's a little sun faded, but she's not rusty. Don't be scared, guys. Nothing's perfect, but the prices are. The prices are gonna be perfect. Look at that, beautiful. That is pretty much a wrap on today's video. Make sure you guys hit the like button if you guys are excited for the old Dodge project to be making some progress. So uh, one big thing, we really, either we need, we need a forklift or we need a lift. So if you guys can assist or help out in, in you know, you got one of those things laying around, just uh, I'll give you my address. Feel free to swing on by with a, a forklift or a, uh, a shop lift because I don't really know, I don't really know how we're going to uh, load or lift or get the cab off of this thing it's going to be interesting i don't you know I, I went ahead and took care of all my trees so we can't even uh get real crazy with it but maybe we need to uh maybe we need to build like a big a-arm structure just another another thing in the back here uh we need to make need to make, need to make a homemade like a post lift and lift stuff off here but anyway guys that uh that's gonna do it make sure you guys do yourself a favor hit the links down below uh for all of the discount codes for amsoil for fleece for evil fab uh there's a bunch down there make sure you guys go check them out save save some money if you guys are going to be spending some money to re-stimulate the economy with your 1200 hundred dollar check but anyway i'll see you guys tomorrow see ya guys don't even think don't even think that i am not counting this money to get back to the original purchase price of this vehicle so look at that we are already up my goodness we are just we are raking it in i know there's more in here see look at this 10 cents right here all right so we got we got a little ways to go but uh, oh here's another one see look at that cleanup always just you know who throws away change not this guy i don't throw away change well here's something interesting take a look at this that light is on and the key is completely out of it well i wonder if that might be that one's off but this one is definitely still on i wonder if that may have some of the reason why the batteries keep dying in this thing